Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Whatever Happened To, the series where we take a where are they now look at players who found success in the National Hockey League but are no longer permanent fixtures in the league, either due to controversy, poor play or just rotten luck. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at a 10-year veteran of the league, a Vezina Trophy finalist and an NHL All-Star. As we ask, whatever happened to Nicholas Backstrom? The goalie, not this guy, he's still in the league. After going undrafted in all three years of his eligibility for the NHL entry draft between 1996 and 1998, Nicholas Backstrom spent seven of the next eight seasons in the Finnish Liga, split between HIFK, Saipa and Karpat, where he posted a 130, 68 and 40 record in 246 regular season games, as well as a 29 and 17 record in 46 playoff games. He also spent a year with AIK of the Swedish Hockey League in 0102, but didn't really play all that well. So we'll just focus on the positive stuff for now, shall we? The guy was already passed over in the entry draft. Let's give him a break, all right? Backstrom spending nearly a decade playing in his native land resulted in the goaltender earning all sorts of silverware thanks to his strong play, including two trophies for the Liga's best goaltender, two playoff MVP trophies, two Liga gold medals as league champions, two Liga silver medals as league runner-ups, a Liga bronze medal, two call-ups to the Liga All-Star game, and a silver medal at the Winter Olympics with Team Finland. I think it's safe to say that Backstrom did pretty well for himself in Finland and proved everyone that ever doubted him and his ability as a hockey player wrong. This enormous amount of success post-draft finally caught the attention of the National Hockey League, more specifically the Minnesota Wild, who decided that they wanted to bring Backstrom over to North America and see if he could translate his success from Finland to the big league, after Backstrom led his team Karpat to their second consecutive league title the season prior. This move was finalised on July 1st, 2006, when Backstrom signed a one-year, $750,000 contract with the Wild to join their roster for the upcoming season. Having toiled away in Finland for the past 10 seasons and having seen the NHL pass him by the first time round, Backstrom was finally getting his chance to prove he could be an NHL calibre goaltender. And boy, did he live up to that potential. The 06-07 season saw Backstrom join the Minnesota Wild roster and suit up in the NHL for the first time as the backup goaltender for the team behind starter Manny Fernandez. However, after Fernandez suffered a knee injury mid-season, Backstrom was thrust into the starting netminder role. Backstrom took this promotion and ran with it, as he carried his strong start in the league to this new starting position and played incredibly well for the Wild down the stretch, as the 28-year-old goaltender posted a 23-8-6 record, a 1.97 goals against average and a .929 save percentage in 41 games. This outstanding performance by Backstrom in just his first season in the league helped the Finnish goaltender win the William M. Jennings Trophy for the best goals against average, which was shared with teammate Manny Fernandez, as well as the Roger Krasir Saving Grace Award for the best save percentage in the National Hockey League. This strong play also helped Minnesota make the playoffs for the first time in three seasons, where Backstrom posted a 1-4 record, a 2.22 goals against average, and a .924 save percentage in five games, but Minnesota were eliminated in the first round of the playoffs by the Anaheim Ducks. After his one-year contract with Minnesota had expired, and having completely surpassed every expectation placed upon him by the team, Minnesota wanted to keep their talented goaltender around for the next few years. So, on June 7th, 2007, they signed Backstrom to a two-year, $6.2 million contract worth an average annual value of $3.1 million a season. Backstrom had just earned the biggest pay rise of his career after playing some fantastic hockey, but his best was still yet to come. The 07-08 NHL season saw Backstrom return to Minnesota and become the legitimate starting goaltender for the team, after Manny Fernandez was traded to the Boston Bruins. The undrafted goaltender thanked the Wild's faith in him by posting a 33-13-8 record, a 2.31 goals against average, and a .920 save percentage in 58 games. 
This production helped Minnesota return to the playoffs for the second straight year, where Backstrom posted a 2-4 and four record, a 2.83 goals against average, and a .9 save percentage in six games, but the Wild were eliminated in the first round of the playoffs once again, this time by the Colorado Avalanche. The 08-09 NHL season saw Backstrom become an absolute workhorse for the Minnesota Wild, as he tended between the pipes for 71 of the team's 82 games, and posted a 37-24-8 record, a 2.33 goals against average, and a .923 save percentage. This production earned Backstrom his first and only call-up to the NHL All-Star Game, become a finalist for the Vezina Trophy, awarded to the league's best goaltender at the end of every season, and set the record for most shutouts in a season by a Minnesota Wild goaltender with eight. Whilst Backstrom would do everything he could to help his team succeed, the rest of the roster didn't follow suit, as the Wild missed out on the playoffs for the first time in three years. After his two-year contract with the Wild had expired, and having continued to improve since joining the team three years ago, Minnesota knew that they needed to lock up their Finnish goaltender long-term and give him the hefty pay rise he deserved. So, on March 3rd, 2009, they signed Backstrom to a four-year, $24 million contract worth an average annual value of $6 million a season. Backstrom had just earned the contract of his career and was sitting pretty as one of the best goaltenders in the hockey world. However, things would only go downhill for Backstrom in the seasons that followed. The 09-10 NHL season saw Backstrom take a noticeable step back in his play compared to his previous seasons in the league, as he posted a 26-23-8 record, a 2.72 goals against average, and a .903 save percentage in 60 games during the first year of his shiny new contract. This drop in production did nothing to help Minnesota's playoff hopes as the Wild missed out on the postseason for the second straight year. The 10-11 NHL season saw Backstrom post similar numbers to his past season and continue to underperform on his $6 million salary, as he posted a 22-23-5 record, a 2.66 goals against average, and a .916 save percentage in 51 games. This continued mediocre production understandably didn't help Minnesota make the playoffs as the Wild missed out on the postseason for the third straight year. Backstrom had taken a real step back since signing his mega contract, and unfortunately for him, things weren't going to get much better in the following seasons. The 11-12 NHL season saw Backstrom improve ever so slightly on his previous season numbers, as he suited up for the lowest number of games in a season since his first year in Minnesota as the undrafted goaltender posted a 19-18-7 record, a 2.43 goals against average, and a .919 save percentage in 46 games. Backstrom's continued struggles to return to his previous NHL career highs saw Minnesota miss out on the playoffs for the fourth straight year. Though his production over the last few seasons certainly wasn't worthy of his $6 million a season paycheck, Backstrom's play was about to see a noticeable improvement in the following season. The 12-13 NHL season began in a lockout, so most NHL players took their talents overseas to various leagues around the world until the NHL season began. However, Nicholas Backstrom decided not to sign with a team or play elsewhere in the world during the lockout. I guess the 34-year-old goaltender wanted to take the extra few months to prepare both mentally and physically to mount a comeback in the league after several disappointing seasons. Once the lockout ended and the NHL season began, Backstrom returned to Minnesota and took to the wild crease once more, playing noticeably better than seasons past, as he posted a 24-15-3 record, a 2.48 goals against average, and a .909 save percentage in 41 games. However, after starting the first half of the season strong, Backstrom began to slump and suffered injury problems later in the year. These injuries would keep Backstrom out of the lineup during the postseason as the Wild finally returned to the playoffs, but they were eliminated in the first round by the Chicago Blackhawks. After the 12 13 season had ended, so did Backstrom's four year, $24 million contract with the team. Having shown that he could still help his team return to the postseason despite struggling in the second half of the season, Minnesota decided that they wished to keep their aging goaltender around for a few more years. So, on June 24th, 2013, Minnesota signed Backstrom to a three-year, 
$10.25 million contract worth an average annual value of $3.4 million a season. As he was entering his twilight years in the league, the 35-year-old Backstrom had decided to sign once again with the team that had given him the chance to play in the best league in the world all those years ago. Unfortunately for Minnesota, this contract would prove to be money not well spent at all over the next few seasons. The 13-14 NHL season saw Backstrom take a huge step back in his play compared to his improved year the season prior, as he posted a disappointing 5-11-2 record, a 3.02 goals against average, and a .899 save percentage in 21 games. This drop in play saw Backstrom's starts and ice time diminish, as the Wild gave more ice time to goaltenders Ilya Brizgalov, Darcy Kemper, and Devon Dubnik, in order to try and remain a legitimate playoff contender. Whilst the Wild would make the playoffs, Backstrom wouldn't tend the Wild's crease for any of the team's playoff games due to his poor play, as Minnesota were eliminated in the second round by the Chicago Blackhawks. Backstrom had clearly regressed and was showing little signs of rising from the ashes after a bad year like he did during the lockout shortened season. Unfortunately for the Finnish goaltender, his numbers were about to go from bad to worse. The 14-15 NHL season saw Backstrom receive even fewer starts than the season prior due to his poor play when he did actually play in the net, as he posted a 5-7-3 record, a 3.04 goals against average, and a .887 save percentage in only 19 games. Though Minnesota would once again make the playoffs, Backstrom would never take to the ice during the team's postseason run for the second straight year as the Wild were eliminated in the second round once again by the Chicago Blackhawks. Jeez, Chicago really was Minnesota's kryptonite for a while there, weren't they? Backstrom's NHL career was clearly on its last legs, and his numbers were limping towards the finish line. But his time in Minnesota was soon to come to an end. Having seen the 15-16 NHL season begin, and having not played in a single game for the Minnesota Wild over halfway into the season... On February 29th, 2016, it was announced that the Wild had traded Nicholas Backstrom to the Calgary Flames in exchange for forward David Jones. Just like that, Backstrom was moving north across the border to suit up for his second NHL team. However, his stay in Alberta wouldn't last that long. Backstrom remained with Calgary for the rest of the season and had an uneventful tenure with the team. Whilst he did finally get to suit up for a few games that season, he posted a 2-2-0 record, a 3.35 goals against average, and a .881 save percentage in four games. Though Backstrom would help Calgary pick up a few points in the standings, Calgary were unable to make the playoffs as they missed out on the postseason for the sixth time in seven seasons. After his three-year contract he had signed back with Minnesota had ended, and having seen his production implode in the past few seasons, Backstrom found little interest from NHL teams in signing a 38-year-old goaltender very clearly on the decline. Rather than wait and hope of a team eventually needing his services, Backstrom decided to return to the Finnish Liga, as he signed a one-year contract with HIFK, a team he had last played for almost two decades ago. After a decade in the best league in the world, Backstrom was returning home to play out the final years of his career back where it had all began all those years ago. The 16-17 season saw Backstrom suit up for HIFK for the first time in 17 years and have a pretty impressive season as the backup netminder for the team, as he posted an 8-5-4 record, a 1.87 goals against average and a .923 save percentage in 17 games. These numbers helped HIFK make it to the playoffs, where Backstrom suited up for two games and posted a less impressive 1-1 one one record, a 3.43 goals against average and a .864 save percentage, but the Finnish side were eliminated in the semi-finals by Tapara. After his contract with HIFK had ended, both Backstrom and the team felt that it would be mutually beneficial if the goaltender remained with the team for another year. So, Backstrom signed another one-year contract to remain with HIFK for the upcoming season. The 17-18 season saw Backstrom tend HIFK's goal once more, but the undrafted goaltender saw limited ice time compared to the season prior, perhaps due to his drop in production, 
as he posted a 2-2-2 two, two and two record, a 3.35 goals against average and a .881 save percentage in seven games. Whilst HIFK would make the playoffs, Backstrom wouldn't take to the ice for the team in any of their playoff games, as the team won the Liga bronze medal against TPS Turku to be crowned the third best team in the Finnish Liga. After his one-year contract with HIFK had ended, the 40-year-old goaltender decided he wanted to carry on playing hockey, but needed a change of scenery. So, Backstrom signed a one-year contract with Tapara to remain in the Finnish Liga for another year. To this day, Nicholas Backstrom is a member of the Tapara roster. At the time of this recording, Backstrom has suited up in eight games for the Finnish side and is contributing pretty solid numbers, with a 1.54 goals against average and a .931 save percentage. Whilst this will likely be the final year of his professional playing career, you can't deny that he is still putting up respectable numbers in a talented European league. He has taken his role as a backup goaltender in the Liga and is running with it for as long as the league and his body will let him. But regardless of what happens after this season and where or if he plays, there is no doubt that Nicholas Backstrom, for the most part, played some pretty great hockey in the best league in the world. In 413 NHL regular season games, Backstrom posted a 196, 144 and 50 record, a 2.49 career goals against average and a .914 career save percentage, as well as a 3 and 8 record, a 2.55 career goals against average and a .911 career save percentage in 11 playoff games. Considering it took him over 10 years to get to the NHL after every team passed on him in every year of his draft eligibility, Nicholas Backstrom is one of hockey's true personifications that hard work and determination really does pay off in the end. And there you go. That's what happened to Nicholas Backstrom. What do you think about Backstrom's career? Is it good? Bad? Or do you think he will continue playing after this season? I don't think he will, but you never know. Also, is there another player that you would like me to look at as part of this series? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. A big thank you to Chris Gadsby, Kales Bro, Max Artis, and Nat Marlow, as well as a huge thank you to Ryan Todd for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.